Good afternoon, everybody. It is Monday, the 22nd of February, 2010, and we had a pretty low volume day today, low volume and volatility. Um, volume has been uh, really running low lately on this rally, and now we're up at this important level that we've been focused on, which is the uh, December 31st low area, as well as that 50-day moving average. We can take a look in there and see that uh, the 50-day moving average, I'll, you know, we, we don't want to take it so literally, uh, but we did close above it, the 50-day moving average which is at 111.02 and we closed at 111.16 but the real story here was the intraday reversal here uh, right at the end of the day where we had seen a uh, you know the last half hour sell off pretty hard so it was a really choppy day and uh, again when we're at you know important juncture uh, such as where we are right now it just uh, pays to uh, go go a little bit slower and not uh, not expect uh, for the big moves to be made until this uh, you know recent rally here that got us up to the 61.8 uh, percent retracement until this is uh, kind of um, uh, resolved itself that is that it's absorbed the uh, the recent strength so we are still above a rising 10-day moving average but you can see here that uh, you know we, we could get a test of that on a break I think tomorrow below about 110.80 so that's going to be our more our, our near term uh, more important level of support as you can see uh, this afternoon's high was a little bit lower than this morning uh, I would hardly call that a lower low uh, a lower high though I mean it's, it's basically um, neutral over the last day and a half but below 11080 I think we could get uh, a little bit further selling down to uh, you know the 11030 and then we'll have to kind of see how the market handles that uh, five day moving average we are at an important level here the volume has been drying up it seems as though people are just kind of uh, waiting for something to happen uh, because it could go either way but again with a rising five day moving average I'm not expecting a uh, stronger sell off quite yet we need to distribute a little bit and then begin to break down if this market is going to uh, experience a more severe decline from from these levels uh, Nasdaq is also as we know up at its 61.8 uh, percent retracement of the year high and uh, right near that 50-day moving average as well 44.80 is where the 50-day moving average is for the queues we're uh, six cents below that on a closing basis today and we did lose just a little bit of ground down uh, basically 0.2 percent but um, we've got uh, mixed you know mixed messages here so the better action is is likely still going to be found on the individual stocks right now on the Nasdaq we do have a more pronounced lower high so if we can't get back above this uh, 45 uh, I'm sorry 4490 uh, tomorrow and then hold it that you know get back into this range then uh, I think that uh, we're gonna see this uh, you know this 44 uh, 60 level breakdown and uh, let's see how the market acts if it gets stuck basically uh, below that five-day moving average then that will give us more reason for concern and to think that perhaps this market will maybe come back down towards the 10-day moving average and that prior support uh, I'm sorry the prior resistance rather at the 44 level as we know 44 was an important level here so um, you know maybe breaking 44 60 ish we could we could head back down towards that 44 dollar level um, but uh, below that I'm not really see I, I don't think that the market is in a condition right now for a bigger sell-off uh, down towards that level we're still trying to see how this market you know absorbs this this uh, most recent rally you could take a trend line and uh, maybe you know maybe we're gonna get a, a test of that level tomorrow as well but 44 is definitely the more important level uh, for the Nasdaq you can see the Russell 2000 has had this great rally above the rising five-day moving average the orange one there uh, it seems to be just kind of running out of breath up here as does the Nasdaq I mean we're running out of uh, energy that is the volume is low we've had great rallies and a pullback down towards 62 and a half to 60 uh, 62 would be uh, so 62 to 62 50 a pullback down to, to to that level would be uh, I think healthy and welcome uh, for this market you know 62 was the level uh, that we're looking at as resistance here and also the 62 and a half of course is the uh, the highs that we've been referencing from um, late last year and you know basically September and October so uh, the Russell 2000 though is a real nice uptrend uh, you know we're, we're, we'll get a lower low short term at about 63 bucks a share then look for that five day moving average to be tested and then about the uh, 6250 level semiconductors kind of you just real neutral here as well down point 
2.22% today. They're right at that 50-day moving average as well. 26.80 is where the average is. We're four pennies below it. Uh, you take a look at the Fibonacci on here, and after that 50, uh, I'm sorry, after that test and uh, successful test that is of the rising 200-day moving average, we've now retraced from the year high to the year low, 61.8%. We're, we've got this retracement that's coming on diminishing volume in here. The sellers haven't taken control yet, but I think getting back below 2650 uh, and you know then 26 probably 2630 uh, back below 2630. I think there would be a, a little bit more reason for uh, uh, caution. The financials really continue to to do well after their bounce uh, from the 200-day uh, moving average. We see. Um, obviously here that uh, when we uh, magnify it that is we had bounced from the 200 day moving average still within this bigger uh, range that the market has been in uh, for the last six months or so which is basically thirteen dollars and sixty cents up to fifteen forty we're up near the midpoint of that we're above the 50 day moving average the 50 day moving average however is declining and uh, those rallies typically do not hold but uh, I think I think we've got some some pain in in uh, in the short sell uh, in here recently this market has kind of gotten a little uh, parabolic it, meaning I don't think it can sustain this type of rally in here that it's probably due for a pullback a little bit of a rest perhaps down towards 1440 and we'll see how it acts down in that area the IYR um, also continues to hold up well you know nice bounce in there above the 50-day moving average but into this uh, area where it had uh, you know prior resistance that had become support so all of these markets I think you've got to just lower your expectations in them right now it's not the type of market where you're going to be um, able to I, I think make make runaway moves here um, in any you know any any intraday uh, shorts I think probably uh, you know while we're above a rising five-day moving average intraday shorts should be, should be day, for day trades only and right now it just seems a little bit uh, long in the tooth as far as this rally here as far as you know setting uh, you know looking for uh, new long positions in these indices so uh, the the uh, the best bet is to kind of see how this market absorbs these gains here and then uh, take our cue from the market after that rather than impose our belief and uh, listen to the message of the market basically.